This is what I get after changing S from 0.99 to 0.5. Now the amplitudes are much more reasonable and they vary from 0 to 1 just like our source does. Also we no longer see the checkerboard pattern. This looks much more promising. Now if you don't see a nice circular pattern, as you implement the updating equations for each component, keep in mind that one way to check the signs in the update equation that you have is by using the right hand rule. That is for an electric field update, if you point your thumb in the direction of the field component you're updating, say EZ, let's consider an EZ component. So if you point your thumb in the direction of EZ, then your fingers should curl around in the direction that we want to sum the magnetic fields. So example for this EZ field in our grid here, we want to sum the HY to the right in the direction pointing into the screen, since it is that's the direction that our fingers are pointing of our right hand. So this means in the EZ updating equation, this HY to the right should have a plus sign in front of it. But as we circle around the EZ component the, in the direction of our fingers, the HY on the left side of this EZ component should be summed in the direction pointing towards us. <clears throat> this is in the opposite direction as the direction that the HY component is pointing in our grid. As a result, this HY to the left will have a minus sign in front of it in the EZ updating equation. You can use the same right hand rule approach to check the signs for the field components in the EX, for the EX updating equation. For the magnetic field component, because of Lenz's law, there's an extra minus sign in Faraday's law in comparison to Ampere's law. As a result, if we point, point our thumb of our right hand in the direction of the magnetic field we are updating, say this HY right here, then we want to sum the E field circling around this HY in the opposite direction of our fingers. So this one is in the opposite direction and this one we sum in the same direction as our fingers. So the EZ to the right of this HY, this one right here, <coughs> needs to have a plus sign in front of it the EX below also needs to have a plus sign in front of it, and then the EZ to the right and the EX above are already pointing, or are not, are, are pointing in the opposite direction that we want to sum, so these should have a minus sign. The other thing to check in your code is whether the I and K indices are correct in each equation. Go ahead and get your code to work before moving on in the lectures.